The ground trembled. The air crackled with energy. In a moment that would reshape the future of space exploration, SpaceX's Starship roared to life. Its 33 Raptor engines unleashing a staggering 16 million pounds of thrust. As the behemoth rose from the launch pad, all eyes were fixed on the spectacle unfolding before them. But while the world marveled at the mid-air catch of the Super Heavy booster and the graceful landing of Starship, another hero emerged from the shadows. One that had silently endured the full fury of liftoff. Stage Zero, the unsung titan of this cosmic ballet, stood firm against forces that would have obliterated lesser structures. Today, we peel back the curtain on the aftermath of Starship Flight 5, revealing the true resilience of SpaceX's groundbreaking infrastructure. From the reinforced launch pad that shrugged off the inferno, to the tower that caught a falling giant, we'll explore how these engineering marvels fared in the crucible of launch day. You're watching Elon Musk 24H, your front row seat to the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. Remember the crater-like damage from earlier launches? Those concerns are now history. SpaceX's upgrades, including the water deluge system, have transformed the launch pad into an unyielding titan. Post-launch images reveal only minor superficial damage, a far cry from the scorched earth of past tests. This resilience is crucial for SpaceX's ambitious launch cadence. With plans for multiple launches per day, the launch pad's ability to withstand repeated firings is not just impressive, it's essential. The Might Air Catch, a ballet of precision. The highlight of Flight 5 wasn't just the launch, it was the breathtaking mid-air catch of the Super Heavy booster. This feat, once deemed nearly impossible, was executed with remarkable grace. However, even ballets have their moments of drama. During the hover maneuver, flames engulfed the lower portion of the rocket as a fire broke out in the engine bay. The full power operation of three Raptor engines, steering the booster to its precise location, left some scorching along the rocket's surface. Yet the damage appears to be largely cosmetic, a small price to pay for such a groundbreaking achievement. The successful catch demonstrates SpaceX's mastery of precision control. Guiding a massive rocket booster into the arms of the launch tower requires a level of accuracy that pushes the boundaries of what's possible in aerospace engineering. The quick disconnects, charred but functional. Both the booster quick disconnect, QD, and ship quick disconnect, SQD, showed signs of the intense heat they endured. The booster QD, though charred and rusted, performed flawlessly during its first connection with B-12, just hours after the flight. This rapid turnaround is a testament to the robustness of SpaceX's design. The SQD, despite facing the fury of three Raptor 2 engines, emerged surprisingly clean, a testament to its robust design. These quick disconnects are critical components for rapid reusability, allowing for swift refueling and preparation for the next launch. The chopstick arms, bending but not breaking, at first glance, the chopstick arms seemed unscathed by the mid-air catch. However, slow-motion footage revealed the true story. The weight of the Super Heavy bent the chopsticks by about 15 centimeters. This flex, while noticeable, didn't compromise the structure's integrity. The bumper pads attached to the inside of the chopsticks proved their worth, facilitating a smooth catch process. This bending is actually a feature, not a bug. The flexibility of the arms allows them to absorb the enormous forces involved in catching a descending rocket booster, much like how a cricket player's hands give way slightly when catching a fast-moving ball. The booster battle scars and quick turnaround post-flight analysis revealed some localized damage to the shiny panels, important aerodynamic surfaces on the rocket. While not ideal, this damage provides invaluable data for SpaceX engineers to refine the Super Heavy's design. The outer engine nozzles showed some warping from high heating and strong aerodynamic forces, but Elon Musk assured that these issues are easily fixable. What's truly remarkable is the rapid turnaround potential demonstrated. The booster was smoothly lowered onto the orbital launch mount OLM by the chopstick arms without any stability issues mere hours after the flight. This success brings SpaceX one step closer to their goal of multiple flights per day for each booster. The bigger picture. Redefining rapid reusability. Musk's vision for Starship goes beyond single flights. He aims for reflight of the rocket booster within an hour after liftoff. 
With the booster returning in about 5 minutes, the remaining time would be spent reloading propellants and placing a new ship on top. This ambitious timeline showcases SpaceX's commitment to revolutionizing space travel through rapid reusability. Consider the implications of this rapid turnaround. Traditional rockets are one-and-done affairs, with each launch costing hundreds of millions of dollars. SpaceX's approach is akin to turning rockets into commercial airliners, vehicles that can fly multiple times a day, with minimal maintenance between flights. This paradigm shift could reduce the cost of access to space by orders of magnitude. Learning from every launch. The progress from Starship's first launch to Flight 5 is staggering. Where once we saw a battlefield of rocks, debris, and scorched earth, we now witness a launch pad that stands ready for its next mission. This transformation embodies SpaceX's philosophy. Embrace failure, learn rapidly, and iterate relentlessly. Each challenge faced, each scorch mark on the pad, contributes to the refinement of both the Starship and its supporting infrastructure. These are not setbacks, but stepping stones towards a future where interplanetary travel becomes commonplace. This iterative approach sets SpaceX apart from traditional aerospace companies. Instead of spending years perfecting a design on paper, they build, test, fail, learn, and improve in rapid cycles. It's a methodology borrowed from the software world, applied to the most complex hardware imaginable. The Road Ahead, From Earth to Mars with the success of Flight 5, SpaceX is poised to accelerate its testing schedule. Flight 6 will aim to replicate the mid-air catch while pushing the envelope further. As launch and landing processes become more reliable, we'll see a transition to payload missions, likely carrying Starlink satellites. But the ultimate goal remains Mars. SpaceX is simultaneously developing orbital refueling tankers and depots, crucial elements for both lunar and Martian missions. These innovations will enable ship-to-ship -ship refueling, a key capability for deep space exploration. Before setting sights on the Red Planet, SpaceX must first fulfill its lunar obligations. The development of the lunar lander for NASA's Artemis program is well underway, with the official flight for the Artemis III mission scheduled for late 2026. This lunar mission isn't just a stepping stone. It's a crucial test of Starship's capabilities in deep space. The lessons learned from landing on the moon will directly inform the technologies and procedures needed for Mars landings. SpaceX's Mars ambitions are audacious, yet methodical. Here's a breakdown of their tentative timeline. 2025, deployment of reusable rocket hardware, enabling more frequent and cost-effective launches. 2028-2032, test launches of robotic landers to Mars, occurring during each launch window which opens every 26 months. 2035, target window for the first crewed mission to Mars. This timeline may seem ambitious, but it's grounded in the rapid progress we've witnessed so far. Each successful Starship flight brings these goals closer to reality. The Martian challenge landing on Mars presents unique challenges compared to lunar landings. The red planet has an atmosphere, thin, but significant enough to require heat shielding and complicate landings. It also has higher gravity than the moon, necessitating more fuel for both landing and return launches. SpaceX's plan involves using Starship itself as the Mars lander. This approach eliminates the need for a separate landing vehicle, but it requires solving complex problems like in-orbit refueling and long-term life support systems. Perhaps the most ambitious part of SpaceX's Mars plan is the intention to manufacture fuel on the Martian surface. This involves using local resources, a process called in-situ resource utilization, or ISRU, to produce methane and oxygen, the propellants used by the Raptor engines. While the technical challenges are immense, the human factors of Mars exploration are equally daunting. Long-duration spaceflight poses significant health risks, from radiation exposure to muscle and bone loss. The psychological challenges of such a journey are also considerable. Astronauts will be farther from Earth than any humans in history, with communication delays of up to 20 minutes each way. SpaceX's role in solving these problems extends beyond rocket engineering. They're actively working on life support systems, radiation shielding, and even plans for initial habitats on Mars. As Elon Musk noted after the successful Flight 5, it is important in this often difficult and troubled world 
for there to be things that also inspire and make you feel great to be part of humanity. This sentiment captures the essence of why SpaceX's achievements matter beyond the realm of aerospace engineering. The Starship program isn't just about technical innovation, it's about expanding the horizons of human possibility. It's a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to dream big and work relentlessly towards those dreams. Every time a Starship lifts off, it carries with it the aspirations of countless individuals who look to the stars and imagine a future where humanity is no longer bound to a single planet. It's a powerful reminder that we are capable of achieving the seemingly impossible. Starship Flight 5 wasn't just a successful test. It was a glimpse into a future where space travel becomes as commonplace as air travel is today. It's a future where the impossible becomes possible where the dreams of generations of stargazers begin to take tangible form. From the resilience of stage zero to the graceful dance of the chopstick arms, every aspect of this mission pushes the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. As we continue to witness these groundbreaking achievements, we're not just observers, we're participants in one of the most exciting chapters of human history. The road to Mars is long and challenging. But with each successful flight, each problem solved, we move one step closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. It's a journey that will require the best of human ingenuity, courage, and perseverance. As we continue to witness these groundbreaking achievements, your engagement helps fuel the conversation about our interplanetary future. If you found this analysis insightful, please hit that like button and share it with fellow space enthusiasts. Your comments and questions drive our content, so don't hesitate to leave your thoughts below. What part of Starship's journey excites you the most? Are you more fascinated by the engineering challenges or the potential for human exploration? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to stay updated on all things SpaceX and Elon Musk, be sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24H and hit the notification bell. Together, let's keep our eyes on the stars and our minds on the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.